Hey guys, it's Kay, I hope you're all well. Now today I want to talk about one of the most popular projects for the Raspberry Pi 4, and that is turning it into a retro gaming console. Now there are a few options available to do this, and I have covered Recalbox, which does a similar thing, but with different features, and I'll leave a link in the description on my video covering this. So what is Batracera? Well it's an open source and completely free to use retro gaming distribution, that can be copied onto a USB stick or an SD card, and once it's inserted into your Raspberry Pi 4, it'll boot up into a fully fledged gaming retro console. And the best thing is, you don't need to make any modifications to your Raspberry Pi 4. And of course, you must own the games you're going to play on it. Now in this video, I'm going to cover how you go about getting Batasira onto your Raspberry Pi 4, and then how you go about setting it up for the best retro gaming experience. So if that sounds interesting to you, keep on watching. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Okay, to do this project we're going to need a few things. The first of these is obviously the Raspberry Pi 4. We're also going to need a mouse. Now I'm plugging this into the Raspberry Pi 4 via its dongle. We need a USB keyboard, the Pi 4 power supply and a HDMI to micro HDMI cable. And last but not least, we need a micro SD card to install our operating system and games. So in this video, I'm going to be using macOS to flash my SD card with Batosia. But you can also use Windows or Linux systems. Now on your PC, head on over to the Batosia website. And when you get there, you'll see they do a great job of explaining what they do, in terms of the features it offers and how powerful it is. And it's also plug and play. And most importantly, it's open source software. Anyway, to download the software, just click on the download button. And that will take you to the download section. And here you can see just how many platforms Botasia works on. From PCs to Apple to Nux and a number of handheld consoles. But what we're looking for is at the bottom and it's the Raspberry Pi section. And as you can see it works for virtually every Raspberry Pi out there. So I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 so I'm going to click on the Raspberry Pi 4 and this will download the zip file to my PC. Now once the zip file is downloaded we need to transfer this onto an SD card. And I use a piece of software called the Raspberry Pi Imager. Just open it up and select choose OS and then scroll down to use custom as we're using a custom operating system. And from here you need to navigate to where you downloaded the copy of Batracia and click on open. And then click on the choose SD card button and select the SD card you've inserted in your PC. Click yes to confirm you're writing the software and that's it. You just give it about 5 minutes for it to complete writing the software onto the SD card. Now once Batracia is on your SD card, take it out of your PC and slot it into your Raspberry Pi 4. And at this point I would also slot in an empty USB stick into your Raspberry Pi 4 and this will be where you store your games. Ok so this is your main screen on Botasira. To navigate I'm using my keyboard with the arrow keys. Now there are a few games pre-installed so you do have some consoles already showing up. Now as you can see themes wise it's pretty bland but it does the job. And later in the video I'll show you how to install some more exciting themes. So if you scroll over to the all games section you'll see we've got quite a healthy selection of games already pre-installed. And the great thing is they come with a little thumbnail and a pre-roll little video. Now one of the first things you want to do is connect your Bluetooth controller. Now I've got a PS4 controller so I'm going to connect that now. Now to bring up the main menu, press on your spacebar on your keyboard. Scroll down to controller settings and select it. Next scroll down to pair Bluetooth controller and select it. Now at this point it's scanning for your Bluetooth controller. So I'm going to put my PS4 controller in pairing mode. And almost instantaneously you'll get a pairing. Ok, now I've got my controller connected, I can show you a few more tweaks on the system. And first, if we click on the options menu, we'll get a quick access menu. And from here we can skip the songs on the main menu, and we can also launch the screensaver. But most importantly, we can view the Batasira manual. Which believe me, in today's gaming systems, a built-in manual is pretty rare. And it literally covers everything, from controller settings, to menu systems, to themes, and most importantly, in-game controller settings. So if you do have any issues, it's well worth taking a look here. It covers just about everything. Now getting the games on your system is pretty straightforward. Just head on over to the main menu and make your way down to system settings. And here you can see we've got quite a few options. Make your way down to the bottom. Oh, and there's an overclock section here where you can set the CPU frequency to turbo, high and none. Anyway, moving down to storage device, we need to switch this to any external. This will let us use our USB stick for game storage. Now you will get a message saying you need to reboot to apply the new configuration. Now this will create a folder system on your USB stick for each gaming system and it's where you're going to place your ROMs. So head down to shutdown system and restart the system and confirm. Once it's restarted click on the main menu and scroll down to network settings. 
and here make sure you're connected to your network and take a note of your IP address. And then head on over to your computer and open up your file explorer and make a new network connection. Now on my Mac I'm going to click on new network connection and then type in the IP address of the Raspberry Pi 4. Give it a moment and you'll be prompted for a password. Now here I just signed in as guest so I don't need a password. And click on connect. Ok we are now in the share drive of Batisia on the Raspberry Pi 4. So the important folders here are the BIOS folder and our ROMs folder where our games go. Now you can see here we've got every single system you can imagine here from Sega to Nintendo and PlayStation and everything in between. So what we need to do is copy over our games from our computer to the relevant folders here on the Raspberry Pi 4. So I'm going to open up a new file explorer and copy across my games. And once you're done you can close your connection to your Raspberry Pi 4 from your computer and then just reboot the Raspberry Pi 4. And if we look in the all games folder we'll see that we've got all our games. And of course the only issue here is that we've got no thumbnails apart from the games that came pre-installed. Now to fix this we need to go into the main menu and scroll down to scrape and from here we need to select screen scraper as the scrape from site and for image source I'm going to select screenshot and for box source I'm selecting box 2D and for logo source it's wheel and make sure scrape ratings is selected and also scrape videos. This will give us a preview video for each game and then just scroll down to scrape now and select it. Now you can also add a filter and I've selected only missing media. And what this does is it will only download content for games that are missing thumbnails. And we can also individually select the systems. Here you can see I've just selected all of them. And finally just click on the start button. And as you can see it will start downloading the content. You can see there's a little progress box in the top right hand corner. Now I'm just going to speed up the video here. And this process shouldn't take more than 10 minutes depending on the speed of your internet connection. Once it's finished you'll get a little message at the top of the screen saying scraping finished update games list to apply changes. So let's just do that press the back button and scroll up to game settings and select update games list. Press yes to confirm and just like that your games list is refreshed so let's have a quick look and yeah it looks like it's pretty much caught all of those games and you get a little preview video as well for each game. Now the next thing I want to cover is how to change the theme on Batusia. So going from this to something like this, which is definitely a more interactive experience. And the way to do this is to download themes. So we go into the main menu and scroll down to updates and downloads and scroll down to themes and select. Ok so now we are in the themes downloader and as you can see we've got quite a few themes here we can download. We've got Dragon Balls, Epic Noir, ES Theme Forever, Flat Color, Flat White, Fundamental, Basically tons of themes. Now I do like the look of this Batasia club. So we just select and confirm install. And that's been added to our download queue. Now I also like the look of this GPI Fusion slice. So I'm going to download that and add it to the queue. Ok so we've now got two downloads pending. Now of course depending on the speed of your network this can take up to 15 minutes to download. And you should get a message telling you it's been downloaded and installed. So the next thing we want to do is actually apply the theme. So if we click on back and back again to the main menu and scroll up to UI settings and you just select your theme set from here. So now in total I've got three so I'm going to choose the Batasira Club one and then if you totally back out of the menu system it'll automatically change to that theme. And there you go guys we are in the new theme the Batasira Club. And as you can see guys this is a much more engaging experience. We've got those graphics, we've got those colours. Personally I love the carousel look with the menu system. But if you're not a fan of it, you can change it in the theme settings. So let's test one of the games. So I'm going to go into PSP and I'm going to select it to confirm. So guys, this is pretty amazing. You get a video pre-roll of the game. You get a full description of the game when it was released. And you even get the original box art for it. Now this is all thanks to the scraping we did earlier. Gotta say I love this game. So it's just like the original. You select your players and off you go. Now I'm just going to show you a bit of gameplay. So enjoy and sit back. Ready? Beat him up, guys! Triumph or die! <laughs> okay, so if you do want to change the way the theme works, you can go into the main settings and scroll down to user interface settings and then scroll down to theme configuration and it's here you can change the way the whole theme works. Ok guys so that is a brief overview of Batisia on your Raspberry Pi 4. Now don't forget if you do get yourself in a muddle there is that manual available from the quick menu 
And all that remains for me to say is that if you enjoyed the video, give us a like and please do consider subscribing for more great content like this. And I'll see you in the next one.